Hey guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and we are going to have a short video today. Mainly, I wanna show you guys how to move an old lipstick out of a tube that you wanna reuse and put a new lipstick in there. So I have this beautiful lipstick tube. It's from Tarte and it looks like blue marble. It's gorgeous, it was a gift. And unfortunately, the lipstick just doesn't look good on me. It's the wrong shade of red and it's a really, really bright red, so it's a very wrong shade of red. And I've had it for over a year and I've tried and tried and tried to use it and I've just used like the smallest amount of it because it doesn't look good on me. Um, but I love the tube and I can't bring myself to throw that out. It's on my vanity, it's, it's somewhere I can see it and it's lovely, but I have like mixed emotions towards it because I know I should just throw it away, but I don't want to because it's beautiful. And then I had an idea. Why not just swap out the lipstick inside so it's one that I actually love and use. So currently I have this, um, which just looks awful and that's kind of the problem. And this is the Perfect Peach Lip Stain from e.l.f. And it is hands down my favorite lip stain of all times. It's better than all the liquid ones because it is solid. So it's easy to put on. It doesn't spill in your bag. Like, it's great. It's a really good color for me. I use this literally daily. I have like four or five open at any given time in my bags, in my purse, in my makeup bag, everywhere. Everywhere except on my vanity because, like, no hate to the product and I love it. But, like, the curb appeal is lacking if you know what I mean. So we're going to swap this out for this, which is a beautiful, lovely, incredible tube that I love looking at, but the insides are not great. So we're gonna do a little Freaky Friday swap here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super easy. First thing you need to do is get your two contenders, the tube that you want to use, and the lipsticks that you are going to be replacing in it. I'm not gonna use this particular tube. I'm gonna get a brand new one. I have a brand new one and put them both in the freezer overnight, and then we can get started. So unfortunately, after any amount of usage, this is basically what the e.l.f. bottle turns into. It's not much better than this to start with, um, but it does wear off and it just doesn't look great or pretty. It's not super like beautiful. It's not something that I want on my vanity. So we're gonna change that, and we are going to put this fabulous, amazing color into this fabulous, amazing package because why not, right? Like as much as I love this and I use this all the time and I really do use it all the time, like I don't want this on my vanity. It's kind of ugly and looking at this does not make me happy and bring me joy the way looking at this does, even though I don't use this lipstick and I have to like dig around in my drawer for my makeup bag to pull this out to use this. I'd rather just have it up on my shelf so it needs to do a little swapsies. It's gotta happen. Okay, so doing this is actually super duper easy. I have a brand new orange lip balm and I've got my bottle that I want. And you'll notice it's fogging up a bit because these have been in the freezer overnight. So I'm just gonna open this up. Like this is brand new, fresh from the package and it's definitely not terrible, but any amount of usage whatsoever and the silver stuff kind of breaks down and wears off and you're left with this. Like this is one that I use. It's from my makeup bag. The one in my purse looks very similar. Like they all just wear off kind of side by side and they start looking really bad really fast. So this one, obviously I use it. I'm not going to be transferring this one. I want like a nice, beautiful starting one. So I will be transferring this one. So it is brand new, never been used. I know it looks bright orange, but it's honestly like the perfect color for me. It's already frosting because I have had these in the freezer overnight so that I can do the swap. Take your two lipsticks. You see how it's nice and frozen and matte. Pull that out, just put it on there. You want to take a tissue with not very much texture. You can work relatively quickly, but you really don't need much to do this. Like literally just a tissue. You know, form, firmly grip it and then rock it back and forth and then it just slides right out and you can see that there's these little marks in there that's what kind of holds it in place in here so i'm just going to put it right on top so that i don't get the table dirty and i'm going to go in here and just kind of like wipe this out a little bit and probably use a q-tip for that if you want make it a little bit more precise i'm just going to clean that out a little bit so inside it's just like a nice clean tube like that should probably get a new tissue, but I'm just gonna fold it around, grab my new lipstick that I want to use. This is going to be a similar setup. You can see it's much longer. This one I haven't used before, so 
same thing, kind of firmly grip it. Don't twist it, just kind of rock it back and forth. It came out. This one looks a little bit thinner, so I'm kind of worried about that, but I'm going to turn it so like the divots that are in there, I don't want to line them up perfectly. Instead, I want to offset them so that the new container makes new divots in the lipstick, and that's going to help keep it in there. So kind of firmly press it in until it stops moving, and that's it. You can see, I don't know if it comes up on camera, there is a slight texture from where the tissue was pushing it in, but for the most part, we are good to go. And we just have a brand new tube for our lipstick, and it's awesome, and this is beautiful, and this is something I can have on my vanity, and I'm like seriously super excited for it. I'll move that out of the way. Like, this is everything I want. This is beautiful, and it's a color that I love to use, and I'm so excited just to like leave this out and see it, and then have it bring me joy, and then be able to put it on and have it be something I actually love. So this is it. It's the craft. It's super easy. It's super fast. But honestly, like if you have an old lipstick that you love the packaging on and you've used it up, it's a great way to save the container. Or if you're like me and you have a lipstick with just a beautiful packaging that you love, but you don't like the color inside and you're not using it and it's getting old, instead of throwing it out, just go ahead and reuse the package for a lipstick that you will use and love, and you can leave it out and have it bring you joy as well. Now this does need a couple hours to defrost. Generally speaking, freezing and unfreezing will not mess up the quality or texture of the lipstick inside. So go ahead, just let it defrost and then use it as normal. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.